The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, things that cause sin will inevitably occur, but woe to the one through whom they occur. It would be better for him if a millstone were put around his neck and be and he be thrown into the sea, than for him to cast one of these little ones to sin. Be on your guard. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he wrongs you seven times in one day and returns to you seven times, saying, I am sorry, you should forgive him. And the apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. The Lord replied, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry, mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. The Gospel of the Lord There is a very big or deep connection between knowledge and intimacy. I don't know which one comes before, but I think knowledge should come before intimacy. But they build on each other. They facilitate each other. And both of them work well together, if they work together better in a relationship. Because it is hard for one, to develop intimacy with someone you do not know. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's why some people take their time in a relationship to know the, the, the person they are dealing with in any kind of relationship so as to deeply or deeper cultivate a deeper union or relationship. And sometimes we see young people today, they could be going together for months, for weeks, for years, and we ask them, what are you, are you guys do know each other? They say, I don't know. Well, we are trying to get to know each other. You know what I mean? So, the both are important in a relationship. God tells us today in the reading of today, especially in this Psalm, num, Psalm number 139, some Bible says 138. He says, I know you intimately. I know every part of you. I know everything you do. It could be intimidating, you know what I mean, when someone knows you so much, <laughs> you know. It could be scary. Some people, some people are even afraid to let themselves be discovered or be known, you know. Even in a relationship, some people still hide, hide themselves, you know, try to protect their privacy, even in a relationship, you know. So, and that sometimes causes problem. So God tells us today, I know you. And what is it telling us in return? He wants us to know him in that way, very intimately. But we have a problem with that because sometimes we don't even know God. Well, I mean physically for some people. But our faith, our, our faith and our commitment to our faith has, will help us to know God more. So what God is saying to us today is, you already know me. Come closer. Develop an intimate relationship with me. Come have a deeper relationship with me. I want you to have that. Because that will help you to advance more and to cultivate more and even to get to know me deeper and deeper if you have an intimate relationship with me. And that's the problem for us. And that's what God is challenging us today to have, even with our fellow human beings, to try to know people in the good sense, intimately, and try to understand them. Because when we know someone, we understand the person. And we could relate with the person better. But if you do not know the person, you don't even care to know the person, then there's a problem. You may not be, you don't even want the person to come closer to you for any reason at all. So God encourages us to have 
good knowledge of people and of himself, how he operates, what he wants. And in that sense, we could better, deeply relate with him. And we have to practice what he says, says, develop justice, enhance goodness. It's only when we understand him and then know where he's going that we're able to appreciate why he's telling us this thing to help us enhance our life relationship. The bishop we celebrate today, Martin of Tours, there's something that he did that has, I mean, that proved that sometimes you have to depend on God for you to know man better. Because when you believe what God says and trust God, it will help you to relate well with people, even though you don't even know them. They said that there's a story that this bishop was driving, he, when he was a military guy. Today is the day for the veterans, anyway. So this man was a, a soldier where he was riding on a horse on a cold winter day. He saw a beggar, a beggar who had nothing, no clothes on. And what did he do? He got, he got down from his horse, and then he took his own coat. He has only one. He has only one. He has to slap that coat in half and give it to that beggar. He has to manage half. I wonder how he did it. I wonder how it worked. Maybe cover half of me and cover half of this guy. It was funny, the story, but he did it. He didn't know what else to do. He didn't, he didn't want this man to die. At the same time, he has to protect himself. Do you know what happened? After the next day, he was riding back, and he saw Jesus Christ with half the coat, half of that coat he gave to a beggar. Brothers and sisters, I think when we have knowledge of God and begin a good relationship with God, it will help us to relate well with the world. That's where I'm going. We don't need to know people for us to be good to them. But we may need to know God and be in good relationship with God before we understand how to relate well with people. Our life is better enhanced when we know God. God knows us true and true. He wants us to come closer to know him. He wants us to have a very big relationship with him because with that, we will better, we will better understand our lives and better understand the world we live in. May God bless us as we keep having a good relationship with God and keep moving deeper and deeper into this relationship with our God who loves us so much and who died for us. May God bless you all. Regina Jenny, let her